Well, this is a little different now, isn't it? It really is. Is this your... F- no, this isn't your first appearance on the Cup TV, is it? Mm, not... not uh, well, I've been on Cup TV multiple times for the challenge. Um, yeah, and Big yeah, yeah, Brother, yeah, yeah. but not this. Not for Amazing Race, so... Mm. But we're very excited. So, hello, 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 racers, and welcome to the Cup TV, the currently unnamed podcast, where we put the real in the tea in reality, and you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy, I say something gay. Gay, I finished my caffeinated beverage that I was drinking in a recording that I may or may, not, uh, may, or may not have done right before this one. Um, <laughs> so I'm currently just drinking water because hydration is the essence of hop. Of the essence of hop. Look over of there. Of course it is. Oh, wait, I have a button now that uh, is applicable <laughs> for this moment. Um, I wasn't prepared for this moment. But... Look over here. <laughs> And check out our cup mug. <laughs> Come on, um, and you can get your merch, uh, including but not limited to cup mug at lanagecreations.etsy.com. That link is down in the description below. And we do ship uh, domestically within North America currently. We are working on our race around the world of international shipping. So there are some excuses currently. <laughs> there are some excuses. Work. Yes. Um, and I am Brandy, a professional fangirl of Constant Dragon video games. I did have water earlier, but it's currently downstairs because I was not prepared to have my beverage with me. But it's her. her. <laughs> but it's also hot in my room, so I should be getting it, but whatever. It it happens. It's fine. Mm. But Brandon, I'm so excited that you're here to talk about Amazing Race, mostly because I know how much of an Amazing Race fan you are. Yes. We just never had the opportunity of getting you on the pod for it. But also because I know that you are also a friend of our dear Danny Butler. Yes, so um, very, very excited. Another fabulous episode of this season of Amazing Grace and another fabulous episode of Angie and Danny slaying the game. I was yes. very excited. Um, we're going to talk all about that. We're going to talk all about this fabulous leg in Chile. But before we do... Make sure to subscribe if you have not already, because we are here almost all the time, giving you almost all things reality TV. And we've got a lot of reality TV happening all over the place right now. We've got interviews. We've got episode recaps. We've got all the things in the world that you could ever want. So subscribe and like. It's literally free. Both of those things take about five seconds to do. So I'm going to give you five seconds right now to do both of those things. Thank you. Um, <laughs> we've got three other channels as well with almost all things drag, uh, Eurovision Song Contest, and wrestling recaps. So make sure to go check all of those links out in the description below. Uh, you can also go check out our membership channel, The Tea Room, over on our main channel or over on Patreon with exclusive content and early access. Uh, and we greatly appreciate that too. So we are diving into episode five of The Amazing Race. We are leaving Medellin, Colombia, and we are heading. To Santiago, Chile, which I think, I think Chile, if I remember right, is like one of the most popular destinations for the Amazing Race. One of them. It's definitely, it's not number one, but I know mm. it's like definitely up there as far as location is concerned. Yeah. So what I remember correctly, and they've always done Colombia. They always do like in like two or three when it comes to South America. So they're already well, and on. This, well, mm-hmm. and this season is also a little weird because it's still a COVID filmed season mm-hmm. and it's exclusively in Central and South America. Oh. Well, Caribbean and South America. That is. Because you saw, did, oh, you didn't, because um, did you see the other two countries that they're going to in this season? Mm, no, actually. Um, Dominican Republic, okay. which should be after, I think we're going to do uh, this and. The next leg, which I'm very excited to talk about the next oh, leg, yes. because mm. it's mega leg. Um, yes. But we've got, I think we've got this and the next leg in Chile, and then I will probably head to either the Dominican Republic, or they're going to Barbados for the first time. Oh, they did say two countries that they're going to the first for the first time. I think so. it's both of those, actually. Mm, okay, that's... Um, unless there was another South American country. I don't remember. There might be another South American country they've never been to. It might have been Uruguay. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Um, regardless, we are in Santiago, Chile. Um, we are leaving in three groups. 
Um, we're going to do as we always do on these episodes, and we're going to talk about all of the tasks that everyone had to complete throughout this episode, and then we're going to kind of dissect it from there, because obviously the editing of this show is really weird to talk about in a in a sort of linear kind of format. So we're starting in Santiago, Chile. We are headed uh, to find Marilyn Monroe's iconic Thunderbird, which happens to be in Chile. I'm not sure why, but like work. Oh, sure. Love that in a way. <laughs> right. Um, we're headed out from there to head to Skate Park Parque um, Arucano, uh, where teams uh, tackle the roadblock, um, where they have to construct a skateboard according to the specific specifications that they have going on. And then we've got um, our uh, detour going on. Um, where we are either doing perform for pesos or climb for clues, where teams are either uh, playing a drum and maracas and performing for 2,500 pesos or climbing a very, very tall uh, rock wall to receive their clue. And then they are headed to the pit stop at Estacion Mapocho. So this leg, to nobody's surprise, again, we kind of see a bit of domination amongst like, there's not a whole lot of overall shift in where the teams landed. Mm -hmm. Like, the teams at the top are going to continue to be the teams at the top. And the teams in the middle are staying in the middle. And the teams at the back of the pack are staying at the back of the pack. <laughs> um, and it's a very competitive season still, even within all of that. Um, I, I don't even know necessarily where to begin. We so they all go. They they find the Thunderbird. The only real part about this whole sequence at the Thunderbird um, that I thought was funny was Yvonne and Melissa, who we're finally seeing more of. Thank you, editors. thank you, yes, thank you, editors. You have an hour and a half of episode because you had to extend this from sixty to ninety minutes. You could <laughs> show us more lesbians. Thank you. That part. Um, thank you very much. <laughs> um, but Yvonne and Melissa like kind of sneak in there, and there's a couple of other teams that get there at the same time, and they're like, "Don't say anything." But there's like so many teams like running around trying to find like where it is. Mm -hmm. um, the thing get, about that, yeah, the uh -huh. thing because um, when you go in the garage, like you always see all the cars there, but you don't right. have to see like the exclusive part that's like for right. Which that that always throws people off because they always think it's directly in front of them when they still have to look around. And it's like I would be looking for a person standing with a car, even if I didn't know what a Thunderbird was, which I do. And so I would have known what what to look for, um, because kind of similar to the story that Karishma tells about her dad watching car shows. My grandpa used to watch car shows growing up. So I'm like very well adept uh, with the knowledge of car shows. Mm -hmm. um, but I would be like, I would be looking for a person standing with a car. That would be like a good thing to note. Um, and then there's a little bit of, uh, there's a, a little very much uh, navigation issue throughout the entire leg. As there always um, is. <laughs> we see Annie and Danji, or why? <laughs> Did I? Can y'all tell I'm exhausted today? Oh, Jesus. Lord. Angie and Danny um, are working with Rod and Leticia, and Angie's concerned now because uh, we love Danny, and he just wants to help everyone, and he wants to be so collaborative, and he wants to work with other teams. And Angie's like, "Well, you know, if it comes down to physical challenges, like we're screwed." Mm -hmm. And I felt bad for Danny in this moment, but I was like, yeah, Angie's 100% right. Yes. Here. Like, absolutely 100% right. I was like, this is my race to win. I really want to win this, especially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we also see, oh, the cousins. <laughs> I don't even, let's, let's talk about them later. I don't even really want to get to that. <laughs> point like yeah. they're they need to have their just uh, their own section yeah, honestly their own. Mm -hmm. um well we're at the roadblock and there's a bunch of teams that get to the roadblock um kind of at the same time and i love when ricky and caesar were like 
wow, we've never had to do a roadblock with other people. <laughs> <laughs> that, that killed me. Like, that's how dominant they've been, is, like, they literally haven't had to do a roadblock with any other teams. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of people are struggling with this. Mostly Rod and Juan are the ones that are struggling because they don't get that the wheels have to be specific colors. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest. Rod's losing me. Every episode, I'm just like, no. No, me too. Me too. Especially the, Rod, like, today, like, this episode, I was like, what are you doing? The way he refuses to listen to Leticia and then said, well, I'm the man. Let me lead. No! That part. But, uh, my favorite part of this entire episode is when Leticia goes, well, he was so used to, um, you know, pick me girls that uh, I don't think he was used to... Uh, used to having someone that would challenge everything that he said. And I'm like, you better work, Leticia. Wait, hold on. You better. Girl, I was like, you better, Leticia. At least you know. At least you know. Um, and there's a lot of fighting in cars. Like, the cars are a big issue. Amber and Vinny are fighting again. Again. How do they fight every leg and still do very well? Like, that's what I wanted. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, they're constantly fighting, and yet they still end up, like, top three in the last, like, three or four legs. I'm like, for what reason? (laughs) For what reason? Literally. I was going to say, because the, like, last leg, they did really well, and I'm just like, this is going to be your downfall, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but yes, we also see leaving the roadblock first, Angie and Danny. Yes. And this, I'm getting concerned now. And I know Mm. it's a mega leg up next episode, but I am continuing to be worried. And I've talked about this in a couple of episodes now. Danny's going to run out of roadblocks. Mm -hmm. Like this is absolutely a roadblock that Angie should have done. No, I I was going to say. Like, Danny did very, very well, obviously. But this is a roadblock Angie absolutely should have done. And I I am fully expecting at this point, their downfall is going to be Danny runs out of roadblocks. Angie has to do a roadblock that she can't do, which, I mean, honest to God, might be next episode. Um, And that's how they're going to, that's how they're going to end up getting eliminated. Mm -hmm. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen either. Trying to wait. Well, last episode, who did the roadblock again? I forgot. Danny. Danny. Oh, right. Mm. The only one that Angie's done is the coffee picking. Mm-hmm. Um, that, was, that was up her wheelhouse. So yeah, that was very like in her wheelhouse. She still didn't even you know execute it as well as she could have. But mm-hmm. um, but yeah, and then Rod loses his nut. Insert jokes here. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Lord. Like, when all the other teams were in their confessionals talking about how, like, he keeps losing his nuts, I was just like, oh, Lord, this is going to be played out so fast. And it did. (laughs) Um, Yeah. I was just like, it literally seems like it took him several many minutes to find that. And I'm just like, if that's the way he ended up going out, I wouldn't have been all that mad at him. No, same. (laughs) <laughs> um but yeah a lot of people get through this whole like the first six teams basically are kind of like in their own little bubble doing their own thing it was kind of the first five and then yvonne and melissa kind of s- slip into that um sort of yeah sort of kind of it's kind of like the top five were the top five and then yvonne and melissa were kind of like in their own group this episode and then the, we had the back three with Derek and Shalisa, um, Kishori and Karishma, and Sunny and Busy. Um, we'll get to all of them later. Because <laughs> they don't really show up in the episode until like two-thirds of the way through. That part. It's some of the most unbalanced 
not editing, but some of the most unbalanced, like, timing that I've seen in a while on The Amazing Race. Because literally, the winners of the leg win this leg before Sunny and Busy even make it to the roadblock. Because they have so many car issues that it's just like, When it comes to directions, um, of course, I can understand why, because they're in a different country. But the, everyone's just, because, like, everyone keeps driving, and then if they're trying to get directions, they really should stop and, like, take their time before they continue on the road and just not get lost. Because that that especially happened to Rob. Right. And then with Sunny, like, Sunny and Busy, that was, the, like, kind of the same issue. Um, luckily, they were able to, like, stop briefly and still was... Well, it stay within the city, whereas Rod and Leticia were in the mountains. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, and then out of nowhere, so um, we see Angie and Danny leave the roadblock. Ricky and Caesar leave the roadblock. Um, I love my new favorite thing is every time Caesar is yelling for Ricky, I'm just like Ricky. <laughs> Ricky, I love his accent, and they are I, I absolutely adorable. I, I adore them both. Like, ah, to see gays succeed on the Amazing Race again makes me so happy. Yeah. Um, but somehow Ricky and Caesar end up making it to their detour first. That's never really explained. I'm like, how did Angie and Danny end up like dropping three placements? Because I think Angie took a, a alleged wrong turn. Oh, okay. Something like that. I didn't, did not remember mm -hmm. at all. Um, but yeah, Ricky and Caesar make it to the detour. They do very, very well in this detour. Um, they, they slay through it. Um, they end up doing the performing one and Angie and Danny end up doing the performing one. And then Rod and Leticia are the only other team that do yes. um, the performance. Yeah, those are the only three, else. and then everyone else yep. did rock climbing. Par. Um, what would you have done? Oh, the performing for sure. Oh, same. Absolutely. I was a percussionist in middle and high school, so like that would have been right up my alley. Love that. Yeah, and I was in marching band, so I would mm -hmm. have done that like right away. Oh okay. yeah, y'all would have y'all would have slayed. Mm -hmm. Like, don't get me wrong, would love to do rock climbing, but seeing how, like, wide those rocks were, I was like, that is not Seeing happening. how so many teams struggled with it, I was just like, I'm good. I don't need to. Like, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm good. Um, Rod and Leticia end up getting back on track. Um, they, I love that they fundamentally think at this point they're in last place. <laughs> I'm like, the delusion, and, like, obviously, like, I can only imagine what that would be like on The Amazing Race, like feeling like you're in last place and then finding out, oh, you finished fifth. Like, <laughs> what? Um, but they end up making it to their... Um, they made their detour without any issue in a way. And then Leticia has to uh, end up having to switch places um with and then rod has to go out and be the one to like ask for the money <laughs> and i was like this is interesting okay sure very um, interesting because you can tell um because when i saw the tc try to like ask for the money like she wasn't even trying dinero 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 it's like girl you gotta have a little bit of showmanship Ugh. Girl. I was like, bring, I back mean, the, bring back the Chippendales when they did their um, whatever they did. Right. But I also just feel like she definitely feels to me like a more like conservative person in the men in the sense of like she's not very like she's not very outwardly extroverted. Mm -hmm. And so that's just not going to be that's not going to be her gag. No. Yeah. She probably could have slayed that rock wall. Honestly, I don't know why they didn't do the rock wall. I was going to say like Rod would have done the rock wall like easily right i'm like i don't know they also thought they were in last place and maybe that was the easier one so i mean um, it, wasn't, it wasn't that hard to get the money surprisingly because they only need 2500 pesos so right um so at this point we get people coming in 
so we can talk about the results. So for the third leg in a row, winning Ricky and Caesar. Yeah. For, um, and they win a trip to Singapore. I was like, there that's like one up from their other like what was the other trip that they got? South Africa? Oh, the, the two I think two expensive trips already. I don't remember. I don't remember what they won for the first um because last like they got twenty five hundred dollars each. So Right. Mm -hmm. Let me verify real quick. <laughs> Right. I'm like, I don't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, so Ricky and Caesar end up winning. Um, Juan and Shane have another fantastic leg. They are really, they're emerging themselves as another very, very dominant team. Um, they end up in second. Um, it despite... Africa. It was South Africa. I was like, I thought it was Cape Town, South Africa. Yeah, Cape Town, thought, yes, yeah, correct. I was like, I feel like I remember talking about that recently. Um, Amber and Vinny, despite all of the fighting that they're continuing to have, coming in third, I worry. I worry for them. No, I do worry for them. I think based on just how dominant they have been, I think they're going to continue to be a little dominant, and I think they'll probably make it another couple of legs and maybe end up landing around, like, sixth just because i feel like their fighting is gonna come to a moment where like and honestly neither of them are really in the right or in the wrong mm -hmm. like i really i was very much so on amber's side in the last episode and then this episode where she's asking for encouragement and it, especially in the roadblock this is where she kind of annoyed me where she's at, she's been asking Vinny for encouragement. Vinny is fully giving her encouragement, and she just goes, "Shut up!" <laughs> like, girl, he is doing what you asked him to do. Girl, no. no. Um. Anyway, um, our fabulous Angie and Danny coming forth. Yes, I love talking about them being in the leading pack. I love it. I'm so here for it. Um, Rod and Leticia, despite all of their, you know, navigation issues, um, their issues with the roadblock, they end up, or Rod's nut issue, <laughs> she really should get checked out. Um, they land in fifth. They thought they were last. <laughs> Plot twist their fifth. They took a beautiful scenic trip into the mountains of Chile. Um, and then otherwise, you know, landed middle of the pack. So not too bad. And that's kind of the the front pack that we have. Like we talked about, Yvonne and Melissa end up sixth. They kind of ended up, because they started with the back group, but because they were able to get out of the first, the Thunderbird um, excursion so quickly, they were kind of able to just like race their own race. Mm -hmm. Which like I they got, loved. I, I love it. I'm excited that they have a bit more agency in where they are in the lineup um i'm hoping they make it another couple of legs and really start like dominating dominating um because they got to the roadblock when like some of the teams were still there they did very well in the roadblock even though i need to talk melissa melissa i'm talking directly to you melissa <laughs> how the hell are you a lesbian that doesn't know how to put shit together <laughs> melissa melissa girl melissa I thought y'all were supposed to be those kind of people. I guess not. <laughs> Cause when she's when she went, oh, well, Yvonne is the one that puts everything everything together. I'm like, aren't lesbians the fixers? I have a lesbian that comes and fixes a lot of stuff for me. And that's exactly who I call every time. So I don't have the power to take away your lesbian card, but Someone might. I'm kidding. I adore them, and I'm so excited for them. <laughs> um, I'm really enjoying them, and I'm also very happy that they're getting more uh, screen time. It makes yes. me very happy. So, um, this is where we get the back of the pack, 
We get those three teams that started in the third group, Sunny and Busy, uh, Derek and Shalisa, and Kishori and Karishma. And they're kind of, like we talked about, racing their own race. Um, it's a battle for who's not going to get eliminated, is basically where they end up. Um, Sunny and Busy have endless navigation issues. Kishori and Karishma are having endless driving issues at first. And then endless bolting issues at the roadblock. And I ultimately think the reason for their downfall, spoiler, is just roadblock management. Like, I really honestly think they should have looked at this roadblock and been like, it could be, like, it could be riding a skateboard, but it also could be putting it together. This is absolutely the roadblock Kishori should have done. Mm -hmm. In the same way that the lap, the the pit stop, or the, not the pit stop, the roadblock with all of the statues, that was last episode, right? Yes. Yeah, that was last episode. That one also should have been Kishori. That part. And the ones that Kishori did should have been Karishma. Mm -hmm. Like, it just, it, it ultimately, I feel like, comes down to roadblock management for them. And they also second guessed so much because they were like, yeah. what if it's again, like you said, what what if it's one or the other? So Right. Right. So um and then Derek and Shalisa were just dealing with a lot of anger issues. I don't even know. I wouldn't like say, I wouldn't say anger. The way Derek is referring to Shalisa throughout the last couple of episodes honestly kind of annoys me a little bit. In the beginning, yes. Today, it kind of toned down a little. A little, but like, I don't know. I would have been, I'm not going to lie, I would have been fine with them going. Same. And I think they might be the next ones to go. But then again, throughout most of this episode, I thought Sunny and Busy were gone. And then they miraculously <laughs> make a comeback. <laughs> they make it to the, they make it to the roadblock slay the roadblock <laughs> busy slays the hell out of this construction challenge um they're able to pass Dark and Shalisa and they end up sevens gag gag and then it ultimately comes down to Derek and Shalisa and Kishori and Karishma Karishma finally gets the roadblock done and it seemed like a closer race than it might have actually been. Mm -hmm. Um, because Derek and Shalisa kind of struggled at the roadblock, and that's kind of where I thought, okay, maybe, maybe there might be a bit of a chance. Um, because they end up doing very, very well, even though Kishori is terrified the whole time. Terrified. Um, but Derek and Shalisa do end up coming in an eighth. And we lose Kishori and Karishma. No. Wow. No. I pulled out literally the only pink I have in my wardrobe um, in mourning of this occasion. I was, I'm very, very upset about this. They're one of my favorites, and I'm really upset. I thought they were going to, you know, make a comeback of some kind. But... Mm, I thought they would, too. No. Unfortunately, not... Um, and that's that. Hmm. So, um, and next episode, I'm very excited, Brandon, because it's time for Megaleg. 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 Yes. Megaleg. Megaleg. So do we think Megaleg will last over two episodes then? Because that's kind of what I'm assuming. Again, they said double the detours, double the roadblocks. Um, I'm like, I don't think they're going to be able to fit that. Because I remember when they did the Mega Leg last season. Was it last season? Um, they split it over two episodes. It was like a to be continued sort of situation. I, I do remember. T I do remember to be continued. Um, yeah. So I'm trying to remember. The seasons are twelve did. episodes, if I remember right. So, mm, yes. um, so if this is six and seven, we'll go down to eight teams. Okay. From the look, yeah. From the looks of it, I believe it was two episodes because they were in yeah. India for um, five yeah. and six. Yeah. 
So we should be getting the next couple of episodes is in, uh, we're still in Chile, I believe. Yeah, they're going to Argentina. Oh, we're going to Argentina. That's the other country they're going to. I forgot about that one. Mm -hmm. Um, So we're going to Argentina. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Um, Before we go, I did actually pull up the list of the top 10 most visited countries on The Amazing Race. Oh, work. So, Brandon, other than the U.S., which is the obvious one, Mm -hmm. um, I would love to see if you can take a guess as to what the most visited countries on The Amazing Race are. Hmm, let's see. I think one of them is Japan. Japan is number 10. Oh. With nine pit stops. Oh, interesting. I thought there was I thought there was a lot more. Hmm. Well, tied technically tied for ninth with another country, mm-hmm. but um so for num- for another one is China. China is number one. Okay. Uh 21 pit stops in China. Because I know they've been to Shanghai, they've been to Guangzhou, they've been to... Um, I wonder if they're China. counting Taiwan and Hong Kong among China. I I wouldn't, but like... I wouldn't. They might be. Oh, Lord. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, China is number one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Was Brazil one of them? Brazil is number eight. Okay. okay. With ten pit stops. Okay. Um... Hmm. I'll give you one more because you have been slaying it. Yeah. Um, last one I think I'm trying to think in my head. So right. um England. Uh the UK is number six. Okay, work. With 12 pit stops. So China is the most visited with 21. France is number two with 20. Uh, and then India is number three with 19. Okay. Um, this one kind of surprised me. Number four is Thailand. With 14 pit stops in Thailand. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think about this because I know they've done Thailand like every other season. So that's why mm-hmm. it, like it makes sense. Right. So. Um, Italy is fifth with 13. Uh, then the UK in sixth. Switzerland is in seventh with 11. Now that surprises me. A little bit, yeah. And then Brazil with 10. And then Japan and Germany are tied for ninth with nine. No, yeah, I, I would have thought Germany would overtake Switzerland. Right. I'm like, uh, interesting. But, but yeah, that is that. Um. We're going to get out of here. We're very excited to be continuing the season of Amazing Race. A, because we know someone. And B, because the season is just serving on every level. So very, very excited. Thank you so much for joining us. We will be back next week. Same time, same place, same us. Maybe with more people. Who knows? But we will be here talking all things Mega Leg. Mega Leg. I'm very excited for Mega Leg. Um, if you are excited for Mega Leg too, make sure to subscribe, like, and share on your way out if you have not already. We do greatly appreciate it. Um, check our description below for all of our other channel links, our membership channel links, uh, our social links at the Cut Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, you can also get links to follow uh, me and Brandon on social media as well and to go get your Cup merch, including but not limited to Cup Mug down there as well. With all that being said, we're going to get out of here, racers. Cheers. Cheers. Da, 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 da.